Hello everyone. Welcome to the online video lectures of the Medical Imaging course. This is the first video lecture and in this lecture I would give you the prerequisites for doing this course. Then I would give you an outline of this course where I would divide the contents of this course into five modules and I will be also giving you the details of the topics under each of those modules. Then I would talk about what are the reference books for this course and uh, then I would also tell you some of the important journals and conferences in the area of medical imaging. You could think of this course as a course for those who are in third year or final year of BTEC or an MTEC first year as a course for those who are in the MTEC first year or even second year. What is expected is you have done some course related to digital signal processing at an UZ level. So UZ level is good enough. Particularly this DSP background would be required when you are dealing with image enhancements of the medical images in the frequency domain. So if you know it good, otherwise even if you have not done any DSP course, that particular module you could self-learn things about DSP and then you would be able to comfortably do this course. A lot of image processing is involved in this course. If you had done any prayer uh, course on image processing or you have some prayer experience in dealing with images that's an advantage for you that makes your job easier even if you have not done anything this is a good opportunity this course is a good opportunity for you to learn image processing as well the basics of image processing as well it would be good if you are going to do the assignments programming assignments given along with this course it would be good if you have some basic level programming skills let's say in MATLAB or Python or for that matter any programming language and if, of course if you even do not have it again this course would give you an opportunity to learn one of those languages and do some basic level of programming. This course has been uh, divided into five modules at the higher level. I, I call one of them as introductory module, another was image enhancements in the spatial domain, third module image enhancements in the frequency domain, fourth one CT image reconstruction, fifth one MR image reconstruction. In the introductory module we would be talking about both image processing methods on one hand and also on the other hand about the domain knowledge about the medical imaging both we would be talking in the first module and uh, second and third modules are more towards learning image processing methods or algorithms approaches that are particularly very will be very useful uh, in particular in the medical imaging and in general in other areas of uh, study as well for example be it in computer vision or in other subjects as well. So then the fourth and fifth modules would be more specific to medical imaging domain where you would be again studying reconstruction methods for CT imaging and MR imaging. Now let's look at uh, in bit more detail what would be the topics that would be covered under each of those modules. You could see here in the introductory module the topics that would be covered would be First of all an introduction to medical imaging modalities then we would be talking about what are the various uh, important uh, medical imaging applications. Usually every year there are a lot of challenges are conducted along with uh, some of the top conferences in medical imaging on problems that are of very high importance. So we would be also talking in one of the lectures about various challenges that are conducted and where you could find them and then we would be also talking about uh, the publicly available data sets the nature of those data sets and uh, then we will again we'll have one lecture at the end of this course where uh, we would be talking about an overview of machine learning in medical imaging so other than that this course as such won't be talking anything in particular about uh, application of machine learning to medical imaging rather this is uh, more uh, focused on uh, dealing with the fundamental algorithms methods uh, about medical imaging. Then coming to the second module that's where we would look at how do you enhance these medical images uh, in uh, in the spatial domain okay in the XY if you call the 2D image. 
So there we would be discussing different algorithms that include transforms based on pixel intensities. Then you would be also talking about histogram based methods, histogram equalization, and then adaptive histogram equalization. And then we would be also talking about spatial filterings. After that, we would be moving on to image enhancements in the frequency domain. So this is where uh, DSP background would be handy. If not also, this is an opportunity as I mentioned to learn them. So here we would start with a one lecture and giving a brief overview of complex numbers followed by that Fourier transforms, 2D Fourier transforms, sampling, two-dimensional discrete time Fourier transform, two-dimensional discrete Fourier transform. All these things we would be discussing here. Again, this would serve as a basis also some of these methods and uh, algorithms that we discuss here would be uh, serving as a basis later when we are going to the next two modules CT image reconstruction and MR image reconstruction. In case of CT image reconstruction we will be talking about uh, in particular Radon transform, Fourier slice theorem, filtered back projection algorithm. And in MR image reconstruction we would start uh, uh, with the physics of this MR imaging, the block equations then signal equation and its interpretation followed by the slice selection procedures. So this is roughly the outline of this course. And when it comes to the reference textbooks, uh, the content uh, is based on various resources, not just one reference book is strictly followed. Uh, so for example, uh, two of the important books are Medical Imaging Signals and Systems. This is the book by Jerry L. Prince and Jonathan M. Links. So this is one textbook from where some of the material has been taken. And another book that we would be using is Applied Medical Image Processing, Wolfgang. So this is another book that we would be following in this course. And when it comes to the fifth module on MR Imaging, a lot of content is adapted from the book titled Principles of Magnetic Resonance Imaging by Stanford University Press by this book is written by Nishimura. So this is the textbook that we would be in particular following for MR Imaging. Then in image processing, these are the other two books. One is Fundamentals of Medical Imaging by Paul Sutens and another book is Digital Image Processing by Gonzalez and Woods. Again, those who are working in image processing would be already familiar with this book. So these are the two books from which the content has been adapted as it when it comes to the second module and the third module. Okay, anyway, the DSP, you would also could refer to the standard Oppenham textbook of DSP as and when required. So that's as far as the course content, the reference textbooks are concerned. And if you want to uh, take a uh, look at the recent advancements, skim through the recent advancements, I'm just outlining here some of the reputed international journals and conferences. By no means this list is comprehensive or exhaustive, but still it gives you pointers to some of the key journals and conferences in this area. For example, when it comes to the journals, IEEE transactions on medical imaging, um, then Medical Image Analysis Journal by Elsevier, then Computer Vision and Image Understanding Journal uh, from Elsevier, then IEEE Journal of Biomedical and Health Informatics referred to as JBHI, then Computerized Medical Imaging and Graphics by Elsevier, then Magnetic Resonance Imaging again from Elsevier Publisher. And when it comes to conferences, the most popular conference is Medical Image Computing and Computer Assisted Intervention, commonly referred to as MIKAI. Then if you are looking into just the MR field, ISMRM uh, is the conference, is a very big conference. Then another one uh, which you could put uh, uh, here in this list is IEEE International Symposium on Biomedical Imaging. So these are some list, um, some of the important things uh, which you may go through um, the contents of those things to get a feel of uh, how the trends are going to get an overview of what's going on right now. Okay, so with that, I'll stop here. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video lecture. Bye.